It's another glorious Heresy Thursday, and this time Exodus the Assassin has got a model, and we kind of already knew that there was going to be an assassin on the way, because we saw that little silhouette from the teaser that uh, Warcom put out. Was it start of the year? Was it before the start of the year? I can't remember at this point. Time is just... It's, it's a construct which I do not have access to. It is beyond my comprehension, and I've just decided to stop measuring it, because why bother? Anyway, before we get into the lad himself... I want to speak to the manager, because I feel that the Alpha Legion has been grossly undersold at the start of this article. As they've said here, the Alpha Legion attained a total mastery of subterfuge during the Horus Heresy, largely because almost every opponent of worth they were tasked with destabilising was another Space Marine, which is harsh, but fair. I think the Horus Heresy did demonstrate quite well that the Space Marines are just inherently unstable. Quite frankly, can relate. Anyway, sometimes, however, clever disguises and unseen infiltration aren't a match for power armor and a really big gun. This is what I take issue with, because I think you will find, as demonstrated in Legion from the Horus Heresy series, the Alpha Legion can just do both. They do the clever disguise thing and the unseen infiltration thing whilst wearing power armor and usually carrying guns. So I feel that they are being grossly undersold and their talents are not being properly demonstrated here. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. This is Exodus and overall I really like this. We have the lovely scale work on some parts of the armor which I really, really, really like. I do like that on the Alpha Legion stuff. You just get such a nice texture off it and it really kind of lifts parts of the model. I, I don't know. I, it, it, really, it really stands out to me every time I see it. We've got some suitably cool texture Techy stuff going on on the uh, on the greaves around the forearms there. No, is that van brakes or is that greaves? Are greaves legs? I can't remember. It's all just a metal suit anyway. That's going to annoy someone. I know that's going to annoy someone saying that. Those bottles on the belt look really cool. Admittedly, a lot of that is probably down to where they're painted, which is nicely. I really like the helmet. So many lenses. There's so many lenses and scopes and stuff going on. So we've got like four on the helmet. We've also got three on the power pack, which are pointing the same way that his head's pointing. So presumably, they all work together to provide, I mean, I'm assuming, like an 80k image in various different, like, infrared and night vision and predator heat vision and god knows what else. So many lenses. So, so many lenses. But you know what? It looks kind of badass. I can't complain about it. I actually really like that. It looks... Silly, but cool. And frankly, that could sum up a significant chunk of the Space Marine range from Horus Heresy and 40k as a whole, so we can't start complaining about it looking silly now. We're a bit far in for that, aren't we? His rifle, which is known as the Instrument, is badass. I mean, it's like a nine-foot-tall sniper rifle. How are we not going to like that? Being not a gun person, I was initially a little confused as to the fact that it looks like it has a bolt-action lever on the back, but it also seems to have like a... A firing mode selector as well, but the profile does have two different, well, profiles. A 24-inch Assault 3 shot, or it's got a 72-inch Heavy 1 shot. I did ask about it on Twitter and got a lot of, like, interesting but separate and disparate theories as to how that worked. And quite a few people thought it was just a volume knob so that you could turn it up to 11. Or we just go with Oculus Imperius interpretation, which is that the design team chose to represent Exodus's two firing profiles with a literal kill and extra kill dial on the gun. Frankly, that one just sounds better than all the others, so let's go with that. I do like that we're still perpetuating the Alpha Legion meme that... It's all different dudes all the time, with no one knows for sure if Exodus is one supremely skilled assassin or a cabal of cool-headed killers who constantly shift priority and targets. I mean, at this point, who knows? Either of them would make sense, let's be honest. We do have some nice extra angles on him as well, and I I don't know, that. I think that's a really nicely done model. It's, it's maybe a little bit busy in sections, but overall, it's just, it's just kind of cool. Could have done without the tactical rock again. Could have done with something other than that. That might have been nice, but, you know, it's just, it's just, that's, that's what they do now. It's just a tactical rock every time. It's a good looking cloak, good looking power pack, nice and simple, apart from the extra equipment on top, which is, which is nice to see. Quite like utilitarian from the back of the model, but a bit more fancy from the front, which I quite like that. 
And you know what? With him looking at you head on, that is that is menacing. That is a menacing helmet. That is quite the scary visage there, isn't it? Overall, I reckon this is a good-looking lad. This is a good-looking lad. Slightly let down by the tactical rock, but the rest of it is pretty grand. The question is, what do you think of him? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you'd like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.